Time now to check in on the top business story of the day. Paige Ellis is joining us now from BNN. Good morning Good to morning. you. Good morning. Let's start with uh, Sobey's parent company. Mm -hmm. Empire just reported its third quarter earnings, and we were really curious to see them for, for two key reasons. One is because of the alleged bread price-fixing mm -hmm. scandal that has engulfed the industry. We wanted to see if that had impacted Empire's earnings. Turns out, no. They just blew the door off the earnings in the, in the most recent quarter. And we also wanted to see it because Empire has really struggled or had struggled after acquiring Safeway a few mm. years ago out west. So all of these things, the company seems to be managing well. But there is still this brewing concern over this bread price fixing scandal. I mean, it is still, there's some, you know, class action lawsuits that are still kind of pending. There's the investigation that remains underway. And the CEO of Empire has been the most outspoken in, in about Loblaw, saying that uh, Loblaw basically threw all of its competitors under the bus by saying, yeah, we participated, we get immunity, all the others did it too. And he said it was reckless and threatened to sue Galen Weston Jr. Personally. Oh, the grocery wars are so interesting to me because the other big story I was uh, following this morning was the Costco mm -hmm. potentially consider, I should say, considering home delivery. This could be a game changer for places like Sobe and Loblaw. It could, and I think this really is partly a reaction to Amazon's takeover of Whole Foods because everyone in the grocery industry has been very concerned mm -hmm. as a result of that, thinking that uh, online delivery is going to be coming very quickly. We know that Empire has been making moves in this. They partnered with a UK company that is a, a very prominent online grocery delivery company. So they're going to be making a fulfillment center in Toronto, uh, in the greater Toronto area over the next two years. They're trying hard to get into this, but it, it's a real race I because guess. someone has to establish, you know, first mover advantage is substantial when it comes to uh, this type of thing. At the end of the day, the consumer just wants convenience and oh, uh, a low price, does. right? Yeah, I know, who doesn't, right? <laughs> so we're going to be following all of that. You'll have more on BNN throughout Absolutely. the day today. Paige, thank you. Thank you.